Hello everyone, today's vlog is starting off super exciting but also super rushed because I've just come to Elise's and we are supposed to be heading out to my new apartment site. I am so excited, finally getting my keys handed over to me today and I am officially going to be a home owner and soon a landlady, lady the landlady loves that, love that for me. So if anyone wants to be my tenant, let me know if you got the money. So we've just got to the little marketing suite area where I'm going to be meeting my agent, picking up my keys and hopefully going to see my new unfurnished apartment. I asked for it to get unfurnished because I wanted to furnish it myself and usually I don't like the way they just make all the furnishings for like furnished apartments the same and like, is it bad that I like? Like also, like the quality is like nice, but it's never like super nice. I really like show homes. I do love a show home, but it will always be a show home. And my personal style is like a bit different. But then again, I'm not living in this apartment, so <laughs> I don't know what's happening. To be honest, we need to get an interior designer to come in and like a furnishing company and just go through it with me. So if anyone is a, why are you doing that? interior designer or a furniture or whatever it's called hit me up honey um I'm not gonna lie though you're such a really nice than mine so welcome to my crib <coughs> oh take two. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh it's better than yours <laughs> you've got, look you've just got a full mirror in here i don't know if these are the fittings i chose why she brought me with you. You weren't here, you are in Sydney. Well, I'm not living here anyway, so. You've got like, a good amount of storage. Three front door keys mm -hmm. and three fobs. Mm -hmm. And I've taken the meter readings, which will get sent to our accounts team okay. and put into your names. So in terms of like packages and parcels. Guys, I got my keys. I'm so excited. I got to just quickly view my apartment. And yeah, I mean the fittings are standard. I didn't get to choose those really. Did. Like she chose the wrong one. <laughs> She's facing me out. Okay, I chose some ugly ass fittings. But like I'm not too worried because I'm not gonna be living there. But like Elisa trying to get me to choose some like frosted blue like cupboards and I was like, honey. It was a show home and it was It was nice, yeah. But um also that would be like really limiting when it comes to like Designing the apartment and they, they didn't give me the option of plain glass. Yeah, this is the show home I saw. Does my living room have carpet or flooring? Flooring. I love a carpeted living room. Actually, yeah. Who actually has carpet in the living room? It's fine, we'll put a Persian rug down. I'm gonna get that keep off rug. Okay, so we are now back at Elise's to just chill before our next meeting. And I'm actually gonna quickly film an H&M unboxing and a Laura Piana unboxing. I don't know, I feel like most of you guys watch my videos, like my vlogs. And when it comes to like haul videos, you kind of like switch off. Is my life really that entertaining? I don't really like watching hauls. Do you not? I feel like... Actually, I don't really watch... I don't really watch... I don't watch YouTube. You know what I hate? Vlogs. I haven't found anyone but interesting. People really like watching our vlogs, which is But odd. I just... I don't like watching anyone else. I hate I've, vlogs. I really can't be asked to look at someone else's life and think, oh. Wow. This is so entertaining. It's really cool, but if you're like sitting there cleaning your house, I don't want to watch you clean your bedroom when you're I don't want to listen to you talk room. about your damn house all day. I just moved into my new house and I'm not starting an Instagram page for my house. It's not happening. It's absolutely not happening. Yeah, I don't really see the point of that. Guys, okay, so I decided I would just include my Laura Piana and H&M unboxing in this video because after much deliberation, I realized that there's only like two packages. What's the point of doing an entire video? But I will do a lookbook styling video. I think that'll be more interesting than just me just unboxing shit and talking about it. I'm just coming. What? Oh, is he coming right now? Yeah, he's at my way. Fabulous. He's like next door. 
Okay, so as you guys may or may not know, my first pair of Laura Pianas, which were very dear to my heart, got um, shampoo spilt all over them. It was really tragic. I tried to contact several companies to help me remove the stain, but no one could do it because I left it too late. Please turn off the heater. I think you heater. Just two minutes. Basically, no one could remove the stain, so I had to chuck them in the bin. It was so sad, so painful because honestly, I didn't get to wear those shoes enough. And then I went ahead and I purchased a black pair, which I had custom ordered right like two days after I got my first pair and those came to Dubai and I was obsessed with them. I wore them everywhere. I still wear them everywhere and I still definitely think I need to get another pair. However, I really loved the sandstone. They were my favorite color and unfortunately I couldn't find them anywhere else. But I did manage to make a custom order. So this is what your custom Laura Piana box looks like. You get the e-commerce documents, which is basically your receipt and stuff that you don't really need to look at. Ooh, wasn't this fancy? Just a wooden ball. I'm gonna hang this on my tree, which I don't have. I basically made another custom order and I sent it to London. This took about eight to 12 weeks. They say six to eight weeks, but they were lying. It took eight to 12. I definitely ordered this like ages ago. But here we have. Oh. <gasps> oh, thank you so much, Jesus Christ. They sent me a suede brush and a cleaner. Rate that, highly rate that. Oh, they're back. They're back and they are customized. I didn't get my name put on the sole, but I did actually get my name, my initials, put on the little charms. How cute. I honestly, I'm obsessed with this color. This is my favorite color, my favorite pair of shoes, and I'm literally never wearing these in London. I thank God. Ever. I just want to thank you, God, Jesus. for introducing these shoes into my life. They're honestly the most perfect pair of shoes. And a lot of you guys are asking me for a review on the Laura Pianas. Look, I've only ever purchased like the summer walks and the summer charm walks, and they are my absolute favorite pair of shoes to wear on a daily basis. I don't have a bad thing to say about them, except for the fact that they kind of, if you have a widish foot, they kind of deform. Like they don't look as nice, but maybe keeping a shoe, um, what is it, a shoe, it's not a shoe horn, it's a... The shoe. The shoe thing. Keep the shoe thing inside and maybe like keep the stuffing inside when you're not wearing them and also make sure you use like a protection, like crap protect, I don't know if that works on these, but crap protect, make sure you clean them. Very important to ensure that they keep this beautiful color. But I love you, I need to get the fur boots now, although I am leaving London in a week. Maybe I don't need them, but I will be back soon. So yeah, absolutely love these. Anyone that is considering purchasing them, I'm thinking whether to make the investment, because they are a bit steep for a pair of shoes, but let me just tell you one thing. I'm looking for a great pair of everyday shoes, which are comfortable, and they're smart, and they go with a lot of things. These need to be at the top of your list, above the Chanel Ballet Flats. Yes, I said it, above the Chanel Ballet Flats. Because not all of us want to wear trainers all day or ballet flats, okay? Some of us like to look smart, and a lot of you hated them, but you guys have no taste. Now, a lot of you wanted me to do more high street hauls and some of you guys were complaining but you know what you just can't please everyone and like when I post about luxury hauls you get offended you're like oh you just catering to one kind of person and there's other there are other people out there that can't afford yeah okay guys I'm trying my best like I'm sorry but I do not shop at Primark <laughs> let's I'm gonna blur out those names <laughs> I don't shop at a lot of high street places, but one high street shop that I do absolutely love is H&M because their knitwear is just beyond. I'm so excited for this, you can't imagine. I got nine things. This is one I was most excited about. As I said, I'm having a bit of a funnel neck moment. So I picked up this alpaca blend funnel knit top. Love that for me. I also picked up, what is this? Oh, I was really excited about this one as well. This is like a cross 
wrap over jumper kind of thing. I'm definitely gonna wear this with like nothing underneath on a date. I'm kidding, he won't let me out of the house. This. Ooh, I think this is the hoodie. Yeah, this is like the hooded sweatshirt, which is a wool blend. It's not the cashmere blend, but they, oh, it looks a bit long. What else? Oh, guys, I have a bit of color. I actually brought some color into my life. This is a beautiful green. Is this a blend? Yes, it has to be. This is an alpaca blend. So exotic. Angora alpaca cashmere mohair. Love that. I love these fluffy kind of jumpers. They're just so comfortable. So yeah, what is this? Okay, these um, obviously very evident. I live in black tops like these. And I love these ones particularly because they are wool and cashmere blend. So you don't really need to wear like thermals or anything underneath them. You're pretty much set because you're already warm. And because I love them so much, I got them in two colors. I got them in the black and the khaki. And they're quite thin, but they're very nice. I wonder if these are see-through. Then... Oh, okay. I got like this... Oh, this is from Divided? No way. This is why I love shopping online because you never know what actually, like what part of H&M it's from. The H&M Divided collection is not somewhere I usually shop. I don't like the quality, but actually this is very cute. It's just like a v-neck kind of off the shoulder crop top stitch. I thought it'd be cute to just wear under a jumper. This is another silk blend, bougie. Love these. I live in these and they just look so good with jeans and they go with everything. In fact, I got them in two colors, I believe. Black and white, obviously. I love color. No, this is different. This, this is just a tank top. This is cute though. A little ripped tank top moment. Love it. H&M just does the best basics. I can't stress that enough and their quality is fabulous i love it um so yeah now we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna head to a meeting in about two hours okay now we are heading to our meeting what? <laughs> we just finished our meeting with laura mercia and nas it went really well and they gave us a huge bag of goodies each and we have an exciting christmas giveaway coming guys Make sure you check out Instagrams. Also, I think we are gonna head to Winter Wonderland before I go home, so. <laughs> so excited! I love going to Winter Wonderland and they have this amazing alpaca store, which I keep going on about every what, damn alpaca? year. It's where I bought my first slippers from. At Winter Wonderland? Yeah, I swear to God. Wait, in like the village that? area, you know where they have these little stalls? Bavarian Village. The Bavarian Village, somewhere in there. No, not in the massive tent. By the way, that tent is so lit. Okay guys, so, <laughs> no, we don't want to be demonetized. <laughs> I just finished Winter Wonderland, walked right through, had a churro, and came to see my favorite person. <laughs> you already know who it is by the car, so. Yeah, Hannah and I are now going on an adventure somewhere. <laughs> Can't tell you. Top secret. <laughs> Top secret, you're not allowed to know, so. I'm gonna have to end this vlog here. See you guys in another video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, and uh, yeah.